Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Did you know you can completely customize the elementary OS dock way more than what the preference panel allows you to do? Let's see what is possible. How to access the preferences. In Plank, the elementary OS dock, there is a hidden preferences menu which allows you to access many configuration options that are not ordinarily visible. To get to these options, just press the control key and right click on the dock. A menu will appear, just click preferences. Appearance. This tab allows you to change how the dock looks. You'll be able to select a theme between default, GTK+, which is the elementary OS default, matte and transparent. You can also choose the position of the dock, in the bottom, to the right or to the left. You can set it to be on top, but it's going to clash with the top bar and look weird. You can also choose on which display the dock appears, as well as if you want it aligned to the center, the start of the edge you've set it to, or to the end of that edge. The Fill option extends the dock to each side of the screen. You can then choose on which side the icons will be aligned. Left, center or right. Finally, you can play with the icon sizes from 24 pixels all the way to a huge 128 pixels. Be aware that some sizes that are not multiples of 16 might look weird and pixelated. Behavior. This tab allows you to change how the dock, well, behaves. You can choose to auto-hide the dock or not and choose in which occasion he does so. He can auto-dodge windows in IntelliHide mode, or always hide itself on auto-hide. Dodge-maximized windows will just hide the dock if your window goes full screen. And window dodge will avoid to show the dock in front of any window. So if you drag one over it, it will hide. And finally, dodge active window will only do the same thing if the active window covers the dock. You can set the delay before the dock hides, and the delay before it reappears, as well as the pressure reveal, which will ask you to push the mouse pointer down on where the dock is to reveal it. Finally, a few options allow you to hide the applications you haven't pinned to the dock, or to lock icons in place. The Restrict Workspace option will show unpinned applications in the dock, but only the applications that are on the current workspace. Docklets. These are just little widgets you can add to the dock. They are pretty simple and display a few useful informations or shortcuts. There are the Clippy Docklet, which allows you to access the clipboard history, the Clock Docklet, which only shows you a clock with the date and time on hover, the CPU Monitor, which changes color depending on your system's load, and the Desktop Shortcut, which will minimize all windows when you click it. Finally, there is a Trash Docklet, which allows you to empty the trash or access its contents. So there you are, guys. Now you know every hidden secret of Plank, the elementary OS dock. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!